easy to use, super responsive. I love this little touch screen in the slider to activate all the different pages, up to 10 of them. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Elgato Stream Deck Plus. I did receive the Stream Deck Plus from Elgato directly, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. They're not seeing the video until you see the video. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. I am really excited to try this out. If you can't tell, I already have the regular Elgato Stream Deck and I use a ton of Elgato products here at DDHQ. I have multiple stream decks in all of my different live streaming and content creating studios here. This has made some pretty substantial improvements that I just can't wait to try out. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature featuring safety and compliance information followed by our quick start guide that walks us through everything we need to know about setting up our stream deck plus plug and play into your computer, then choose to set up your actions followed by personalize your keys, create folders, edit keys, and integrate your social media. Next, you may notice we have a USB type A to USB type C cable and it's removable. It's no longer integrated like it is on the regular Stream Deck. And we have a nice braided nylon design here. And then lastly, we have the Stream Deck Plus itself. Look at this. We got our eight keys up top. We have our touch strip right here and four customizable knobs and control buttons. Oh my goodness, this looks really nice. Here's your side profile. Here's a look at the back side with our USB type C port, additional product info right there. Here it is from the other side. And the very bottom, we have a nice silicone grip surface here. This is sleek. And it's got Stream Deck pedal vibes, if you guys are familiar with that device. So that's pretty cool, it follows the same design aesthetic. And very similar to the regular Stream Deck. But man, that looks great. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. So we have our Stream Deck plugged in and connected to our PC. You're also looking at the Stream Deck software that's been downloaded and we're at the main home screen for our Stream Deck Plus. If for some reason you're not able to find your Stream Deck Plus, make sure you have the Stream Deck software currently up to date and that should alleviate any issues that you have. So this is the main interface right out of the box with nothing set up or configured. I didn't copy over any other profiles or things along those lines. So let's go over it really quickly here. This will be very brief. I'll show you a lot of the different features that you can add, but you're gonna wanna customize yours differently than I would, depending on your setup situation, how many other Elgato products you have, like the face cam, if you have any lights, right? You're gonna wanna configure that to your own setup, but I'll give you a nice brief overview of all the different features and functionality that you can expect with your new Stream Deck Plus. So. First up right here, looking at the main screen of our Stream Deck Plus with our different eight tiles here, our touch bar, right? Our touch strip, whatever you wanna call it. And then we got our four different knobs and we can add multiple pages right here. This is so cool, look at that. Holy smokes, is there a limit? 10 pages? And then you just swipe over on the touchpad. So right here, you would just swipe to get to the next page so you can add up to 10 pages which is really cool so basically you know almost infinite possibilities there no need to have an xl and an xxl that sort of thing so really cool that we have that built right in what a nice feature there and then we have a couple different options right up here so we have a little colored keyboard so this is going to take us to the elgato store and this is a really helpful area to discover, as the tab says, your features and a nice overview of the Stream Deck Plus. So I highly recommend clicking this icon here. You'll be at this screen where you can then select the Stream Deck um, feature overview section. So they walk you through hotkeys here. And then we have our volume controller. This is just gonna show you the capabilities of your Stream Deck Plus. Really amazing with nice little videos there, animations for you. The dial actions, key actions, and you can install the volume controller plugin right there. So go ahead, you can do that. Next up for you Wavelink users, here's your plugin here and the different key actions and dial actions. So nice breakdown. Look at how good, good everything looks there. And there's your Wavelink install link. Control center, same thing, right? Dial actions, they break this down very easy for you. And you can control brightness temperature if you want to adjust it warmer or cooler for your color temp and there's the control center you can download 
This is pretty fascinating, camera hub. So what a great integration here. Look at this, look at the controls we have with our dial actions. So we can fine tune different adjustments here, right? So what do you want to change? ISO, zoom, so cool. So again, very helpful. You can access plugins, you can search for stuff, browse by most popular, different icons, right? Music right here for you, sound effects. They have everything you need right here from the store. Again, just click this option as needed. Next, we have our settings gear icon where we can choose and check for updates, our account and profile information, firmware version. You get the idea there. If you need to learn more about your device, you can do that right from the settings gear icon. And then probably where you will be spending most of your time is right here where we have our keys and our dials. So don't forget, we got our eight keys here four dials, and now we can configure them however we want. So let's look at the key section first. We have our Stream Deck settings. So we have our timer right here. And if you just hover your mouse over your cursor, it'll give you a nice little you know, text box showing you what it's for. So if you wanna set a timer for your Stream Deck, you can do that right there. And then everything's just drag and drop. So we have our timer, we could you know, make a title here. We can adjust the duration. And then if we wanna choose a sound or import our own, we can do all of that right there. So let's just pretend, let's just call it timer. I know how original, we'll just leave that up for now just to get an idea. Same thing, brightness, sleep, right? So that's our stream deck settings. Then we have our system settings. What do you wanna to go to? Do you wanna to go to a website, right? URL right here. So you can launch that very quickly. You get the idea, look at all the different system options we have. Again, everything's drag and drop. Control center, what do you wanna do? Set brightness, right? If you have your Elgato key lights, you can do all that. Battery status, all of that right there. Soundboard, play or stop audio, if you wanted to do that. And you can link up your file right here, volume, you get the idea. Where do you want it to output? All those controls right there. Check that out, pretty cool. Um, Streamlabs integrations, right? It also integrates with OBS, you'll see. Twitter, if you wanna add some Twitter stuff, we could drop a tweet right here. So link your account, text, attachments, you get the idea. Voice mod, if you wanna do some voice changing effects, you can do all that right here. Look at them all. So this is basically replacing what I currently have for myself as a content creator, a Go XLR that's dedicated to a lot of voice mod and some of these audio routing features and capabilities. And I always pair that with my Stream Deck. But now we have one small compact device right here that can handle just about everything you need. And it integrates so nicely with all the other Elgato products that are out there. So Twitch Studio for you Twitch streamers out there. We have a custom section if you wanna add a counter. So we could do that right there, pretty neat. Title, and you can set it up. Go XLR does integrate if we can swap different profiles and routing table changes. OBS Studio, this is what I primarily use with my other Stream Deck, cycling between scenes. I also use the Stream Deck pedal to do that. But look at all the settings and options. We'll just drag one over here. Again, drag and drop. You're all set and ready to go. So many OBS integrations, I love it. And don't forget Streamlabs desktop too, which is OBS. All right, next up, multi-action. If you wanna do a multi-action, we have a couple different options for that. So you can execute multiple actions at once. I know, how original, right? Or multi-action switch. So you can toggle between different actions and choose the one that you want. So we'll just drop one of those right there and then you have to pick your actions, so we'll just do this guy, and then we'll just do, we'll just grab another one right here, something like that, right? So we have a couple of those all set and ready to go. All right, let's go further down, navigation settings. This is great too. I love having some of this stuff just set up for just using your PC day in and day out. If you wanna create a folder, switch profiles, you get the idea. We have our volume controller. So you have your auto detection or your manual detection settings. So we could bring one of those in there. You get the idea here. Camera hub, if you have your connected Elgato devices. How cool is this? We could do like refocus settings. 
And then we have our wavelength options as well. So input actions, and I just have these little warnings here. I don't have those devices connected. So yours will look a little bit different when you can launch that and use it. But that's a quick look at our keys. Now let's go to our dials. It's gonna be dialed back. See what I did there? So here's our Stream Deck options. So dial stack. So we could go ahead and we could pair multiple actions together in a stack. So I'm just gonna grab a couple random ones here. We'll do hotkey, multimedia, so you can get the idea and we'll throw brightness in here. But let's go back here. So we'll walk through that one in just a second. And that's gonna be on page two. So keep that in mind. But look at that, our dials aren't changing right here on those, excuse me, it is changing. I thought it didn't for a second. It looked like it didn't, but so the dials do change per page. So keep that in mind, just like your tiles will up top. So that's what we got here. We can move it to that one. We might be able to move it. No, I thought we could maybe copy it over. That'd be cool. I'm not sure if that works that way. Um, but at least on our page here, we'll add a couple more for our dials. So we looked at some of the system ones. Here's control center. If we want to adjust brightness, adjust temperature, volume controller. So we could add that. Let's go to page one for a minute and we'll just add a couple more. So camera hub. So we could adjust property here. And this drops down our little icon settings. So you get the idea there. And then lastly, wavelength. If you want to do input here, and output there, we could do something like that. So now let's configure on this one. I'll show you, for example, again, I use my GoXLR to route um, music from like Spotify, but now with our manual detection, we can select our application and we actually have Spotify right here. So watch what happens. I'm gonna allow um, Spotify to come through the GoXLR, but we're controlling it now to system level. So you should be able to hear music right now. And then I can press on this little guy right here and we just muted it. And then we can adjust the volume right here, right? So look at that, you can do all that right from your Go XLR now. Really, really neat, super cool. And since we have some of these populated just for fun, we'll cycle through them so you can see how it's gonna look when you set yours up. Look at that, so nice. And just press the tile that you want or complete the action right here with your dials. We have everything all set up and ready to go there. Very, very cool, easy to use, super responsive. I love this little touchscreen in the slider to activate all the different pages, up to 10 of them. So useful and very, very practical. So now I've set up my Stream Deck Plus exactly how I want it. And I'll be the first one to admit, I do not have a very complicated streaming setup. So the Stream Deck Plus for my usage and scenario can get rid of having the Go XLR and the regular Stream Deck. I can fully integrate everything directly into the Stream Deck Plus, which is really, really nice. So this is how I have everything set up here. I got my OBS scenes. I added a counter. I thought this was fun. So I keep track of followers, subscribers, things like that during a stream for giveaways. You get the idea there. And then you can just hold this too for about two seconds and then it resets to zero. We can even mute our microphone, which is nice. Really important for me to have when I'm using the Go XLR. So also keep in mind, you can use voice mod if you want to get a lot of those same great features. And then everything else is just a bunch of media files for common little clips of audio that I like to use. And then down here at the bottom, all of our different dials, we have our Spotify, stream music. I have our player controls right here for our multimedia. The Go XLR app, if I wanna quickly do or change anything, I can do that right there. And what's great too, like for example, the player, you're not really sure. Obviously, if you you know press this, you play or pause Spotify, right? That's what we're doing right now because that's what's pulled up on our computer. But we can actually also turn it to the left or to the right, counterclockwise or clockwise, and that's gonna act as our ability to go to the previous track or the next track. So I love that feature. Everything else, obviously for Spotify, you can tell, it's just gonna use this as a volume adjustment and then mute or unmute. Brightness, same way. And then I have nothing set up dials wise on this screen yet. But keep in mind, again, if you have a complete Elgato setup or you're thinking about getting one, picking up the microphone, picking up the light and the camera, oh my goodness, this thing unlocks 
full potential for you with that really tight knit software integration and now hardware integration, you can truly have one device to control everything that you need. So looking at the regular Stream Deck side by side with the Stream Deck Plus, it's amazing how far Elgato has come in such a short amount of time. The Stream Deck was and is a game changer for content creators and streamers alike, and they're building upon that legacy with the Stream Deck Plus. This is just so nice, I can't stress enough how practical and useful this is, and they have really thoughtful changes and additions to help this compete more so with your Beacon Mix Create, your Go XLR, and it comes in at a very competitive price point. I'd say for the average streamer and creator out there, this device might be able, or I should say should be able, to cover everything you need all in one small, simple, and sleek format. If you're already in the Elgato ecosystem, then you win even more with the tight-knit software and hardware integration that this enables between your other Elgato devices. If you're not in the Elgato ecosystem yet, this could be the reason why you start to get into it and invest in it heavily. I myself have been using the Stream Deck for a while now. I have the pedal, I have multiple Stream Decks, and I love Elgato products. Sure, there's cheaper alternatives out there, but this is the perfect case of you get what you pay for. Oh, and I also wanna mention that this stand is so nice. This is really well thought out. They did such a great job. They picked the perfect angle, in my opinion, whether you're sitting down, standing up and streaming, whatever it may be, you'll be able to easily read the display and all of the controls. There's nothing wrong with the regular Stream Deck stand. It's actually pretty clever, but it's just not as solid as the Stream Deck Plus. So I'm really just marveling at the design. They did such a good job.